Nice, yes, nice, play it, play it. In this one third of the net, this is window one. Once we get to the midline and into the second third of the net, we're into window two. If you're here, you're still in window two because if I'm here like this, do I have the chance to wrap right now? Not really, because I still have to skate towards the net. But if I'm here, now I have the opportunity to wrap and that's when you slide. Uh, it's all about the environment we promote on the ice. It's gotta be intense, it's gotta be game situational. You're not done, do something. Oh! Nice save. Woo! When we're stopping, our back leg has a tendency to drag, but we wanna have that drag as least as possible. Okay, so let's try to cut those stops in half, and we'll just do one more there and back. Ready, go. Nice, good stop, good stop, nice. Phase two, pivot, keeping the chest straight, hard skate like a player back, stop. Keep your knees bent, but keep your chest nice and tall. And then really get around, right? Use your legs to really push you through. If you do one of these, you're here, and then you know you kind of miss a step and fall, that's okay. Don't be afraid to fall. Go. Nice, yes, yes, good, good. Go one more time this side. There it is, and push, push, push. Phase three, starting on the left side, cut through the cone, open up, push through to the other side of the cone, open up and push through on the angle, okay? Finish off with the turn. Good, good. So we're gonna do the two push. Ready, go. Nice. So I really want you to push like this and then really create some snow. I really want you to prepare just in case you have to push back the other way. And then if there's no, if there's no intent or no reason to push back the other way, then you reset. That's it, okay? Finish in the middle. Fix it, fix it. Nice, grab some water. And we're gonna do the 101, start in the middle, C cut out to the corner, T push across to the opposite side of the crease. Uh, a couple shuffles to the middle with a shot. If there's a close rebound, we'll have one of the shooters close by. Close rebound, play it. If not, they're just gonna stand up, reset, and keep going. All right, let's see it. Good. One thing I'm noticing when you're seat cutting out, if that pass comes across, are you gonna do one of these? Probably not. Take your time, take your time. Hard set and then go, okay? Oh, play it, play it, play it. Yes, play it out, play it out. Ah, nice try, nice try. Switch it up. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, good patience. Beautiful, excellent, good work. Get your eyes up. Nice save. Yes, play that out, play that out, play that out. Good check, good check. Oh, okay. So in a situation where you're here like this, and you slip, that's why. That's exactly why we do the two push, because if you go slip, you're done. But if you have that already ingrained in your brain to do a second push, even if it hits you and still goes in, at least you gave yourself a shot to make that save. Because you never know, sometimes it might just hit the, the very tip of your blade and then hit the post and go out, and look at that, you just made a beautiful save, okay? Let's work on that one again. One hundred two is gonna start something like this. You're gonna start just in front of the goal line. Player's gonna bang their stick and shoot right away. Hard C cut with the one leg and stop with the opposite leg. Set your feet, make the save, follow the rebound if there is one, back up to your feet, 
One player is gonna be up at the top, going one side or the other. The second player is gonna go to the opposite side. Follow the player out like this, straight shot, no passes. Okay, straight shot. And the second player is gonna be right here for that rebound. If you find that as you're getting up, the shot is already coming, is it better to gain your depth or hold your feet? Why? Because if you're in movement, it's harder to maintain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Too easy. Nice, excellent. There you go, there you go. Good, beautiful. Unreal, man. Unreal. Well, let's go get in there, Gabe. Good, hands. There it is. Play it, play it, play it, play it. On your feet. Oh, patience, patience. So we're just going to work on the three steps. So if I'm coming here like this, step one, good. Step two, good. And then step three, just like that. Or step one, step two, and then step three, just like that, okay? There it is. Yeah. Turn that head, turn that head. Good. Play it, play it, play it, play it. Excellent. Play it, play it. That's okay, play it. That's it, whistle, good. Jack, Jack, get your hand up, get your hand up. Nice, play it up, play it up, play it up, play it up. Good. Nice, yes, nice, play it, play it. There it is. Jack, number two, and four. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. On your feet, there you go. In this one third of the net, this is window one, okay? Once we get to the midline and into the second third of the net, we're into window two. But even though you're in window one, you can still see me, okay? But you have to use the corner of your eye to really see me, unless you turn your body, which you don't wanna do, okay? Now, turn into window two. Can you see me better? Okay, now if I do this, you're back into window one. If you're here, window two, if you're here, you're still in window two, because if I'm here like this, do I have the chance to wrap right now? Not really, because I still have to skate towards the net. But if I'm here, now I have the opportunity to wrap, and that's when you slide, okay? Does that make sense? Check, check, yes, there it is, go. Window two, yes, push, play, 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 on your feet. Nice, yes, second shot, second shot. Nice, that a boy. There it is. Good. Try it one more time. Again, your first reaction after your square, you got to get your hands out because your hands are the first, are basically your first lifeline. Then once your hands are there, your body's going to follow right through and you're going to make that save right in the square chest. Okay. Let's see it again. Beautiful. Yeah. Play that out. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Second puck. Second puck. Play it out, play it out, on your feet, on your feet. Nice, nice. So if you're here, you make that big toe save, right? Excellent save. You're here like this, instead of sliding, you get up, now all of a sudden, you can push back, right? And you see how I slip? That's the one push. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather that I see a two push, right here. Boom, here, and then here, boom. And now I'm in more control. And then from here, you can stand up. Yeah. Window one, two, beautiful, good stick, good stick, out of four. There it is, good, out of four. Nice, yeah, play it out, play it out. Good look, take a look. There you go, now you know where he is. Beautiful, play it again, play it again, play it again. Stay low, stay low. Oh. You made the save here, boom, and then you got up like this. And then you, went, you had to slide across quick, and then you did one of these. There's no power. There's absolutely no power. You make that save, boom. 
you're here like this, you stay low, now all of a sudden you're pushing back for another save, okay? And it's also, when you stay low, you have more power, you have more speed, you have more control. Push, there, nice. Check. Yeah, split, yeah, yeah. Atta boy, atta boy, that's huge, that's huge. I would say, honestly, the work ethic from both of them is just phenomenal. Gabe was on the ice this morning, and to have a student go from one session, have a half an hour break, and then go to a second session just with the same amount of intensity, it's super fun to watch, super fun to see. It's pretty rare to say that I have a bad session with, with any of the students, like, you know, with Coach Nick around, or with, even if it's just myself. Anytime it's with higher level goalies like that, it's just, it's always fun. Good job. Excellent work today, guys. Excellent work.